Um, well, listen, I'm just, this isn't, yeah, I'm not speaking for me, I'm just saying where we are, because this mm -hmm. was, all these things similar were part of a dinner conversation that I had with um, many liberals sitting around and some conservatives as well, um, is that, and especially women, as we saw during Kavanaugh, they're concerned about the men in their lives, especially their sons being falsely accused mm -hmm. and going back so many years. I mean, there is that concern. I just, I think people don't know how to feel about it. And I think they take every, um, every single situation should be taken into account. The number of people, that makes a difference to some folks. Um, but I think what the concern is that everything is lumped in one barrel. And so I think for the fatigue or whatever it is, how, whatever it is that you, you called it during uh, your closing remarks there, I think that people lump everything from, you know, Joe Biden, who, you know, some women said, oh, he made me uncomfortable, to this horrible accusation, which is textbook, that would be rape, correct? As you said, she doesn't like to use that terminology. Uh, yeah, she doesn't like and it, I think but it's so by it, any legal definition. In the fog of all of that, people sort of go, okay, there needs to be some distinction, and I just think that people are overwhelmed from everything that comes out of this administration every single day, and this is one thing that mm -hmm. goes into the pot, sadly. Again, I'm not, I'm just saying no, that. No, 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 you're giving an observation on yeah. it, and I don't think you're off. Here's what I don't get, one of the <clears> things. <throat> the same people who had such a rabid, or let's put it nicely, had such a strong devotion to sexual peccadillo, and sex outside of marriage, and infidelity, and character counts. All of that was at such a premium with the same group of people that now has an indefatigable appetite for anything that comes out about this president with clear violations of the mores that they used to hold so high. When Clinton was in there, the vice president of the United States, Mike Pence, wrote a long letter, Don, saying, hey, forget about the law. Got to judge him as we would our neighbor. If we don't have the moral standards in the White House, where will we have them? Mm -hmm. He must go for that and that reason alone. Now he is vice president to Donald Trump. I don't understand what happens there for people. And this is not about consensual sex. I want to be very clear, and I know I get beat up for this on the radio and here. I don't care who the president sleeps with. This is not about consensual sex. Life mm -hmm. is complicated, people are complicated, I don't care. This is about crimes. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen anything like it ignored to the degree it is, and I just don't know what it means. Well, I think it's, uh, and you kind of answered your question because uh, we talked about that before when it's, um, when it's adultery. Adultery is not, adultery doesn't put you on Me Too Island. Uh, adultery usually doesn't, and it didn't for the former president who's, you know, accused of adultery. And then there were, there were other presidents, right, who were, there were rumors of adultery. You yeah. can go back in history. That didn't usually preclude you from losing your job, losing your livelihood, um, being shunned in society. These are bigger, stronger issues where even women are going to stand up for the people in their lives. Again, this is my observation. Mm -hmm. Are going to stand up for the people in their lives, especially the men, and the young boys and the people they hold dear, and so they tend um, not. They tend to view these particular allegations with more of a degree of caution than saying, "Okay, you know, this guy had an affair, big deal. You move on. You keep going. That is something that is between the wife and the husband. They need to work it out in their relationship. Sure. If you have someone in your life that's accused of that, they realize that they can. Everybody involved loses something. The person who's accusing, the accuser, and the family of the accuser. And how do you know what's true and what's not? When you, especially when you go back decades, people wonder. And I'm not saying that it's not. Listen, as a as a, um, a victim of sexual abuse as a child, I know that people don't often tell. But uh, I think people wonder. Well, what took you so long? Why now? They absolutely why do. do you have? What, why what, is it what part is of the, a book? You, why you have a book deal? Do you want money? Why do you? Why do you? Why do? You, why do you do that? Why don't you? You know, just deal with it uh, yourself. If you dealt with it for that long, they think right. that they want something out of it. Right. But what I'm getting, I, I totally agree with you. And you have to be careful about false allegations and tarring somebody and being fair about it. 100. percent but I think, but, but hold on, I think it's also a moment of reckoning. I'm serious, though. This is, this is me talking. Yeah. I think this is a moment of reckoning for the Me Too movement. 
that people need to, you know, you should take everyone seriously. 100%. But 100% of the time, not everybody tells the truth. That's true, too. All the time. Look, and you got to vet it. And like I said, we're struggling with it, what the <clears> standard <throat> is. We know what it is in court. Yeah. Even if somebody's highly credible, they still have rape kits and all these invasive, right. uh, you know, often really harrowing experiences that some women say matches the original violation because they need a standard of proof. Right. I get it. I get it. Not comfortable, imperfect. That's where we are. 20-some, that's but, a lot of women. I, I, I look, and I'm just saying... The same people who had this endless appetite for the details of the adultery, who was it and when and why and the morality and this, and projecting this puritanical notion of what it's, people it's, should be like, that they don't live themselves. But now you can't say anything that makes them want to see it yeah. be perceived. This woman accuses him of rape. Right. Nothing Serious. short of it. Serious stuff. Listen, I got to say, and I'm not being snarky, just when you're done, go to the dictionary or Google hypocrisy, plain and simple. Hmm. That's what you're talking about.